Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Prime Video back with another Dokkan Battle video. Welcome to what will probably be a super chill World Tournament Ticket Summon video today. And honestly, this is definitely something that I needed real bad after yesterday's 8 hour World Tournament stream that I did. And while it was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Um, it was also super, super painful, super tiring. I slept for like 10 hours after that stream. And it's definitely something that I don't plan to do again anytime in the near future. So if you guys are interested in checking out what that was all about, the video is posted now. It's an 8 hour video, so I don't plan, I don't expect anybody to watch the entire thing, but maybe just skip through it and see uh, what happened. Because it is kind of a historical moment on this channel, so go check that out. And uh, with all that said, let's get into these tickets guys. We're just going to do our summons real quick. Let's start with the... Uh, DB Saga tickets first, I guess. I do still need dupes for pretty much everything on the banner. And uh, after that, we'll do our GSSR tickets, which we'll do right here because I still need that SDR Final Form Frieza, who is excellent. You guys don't know. So uh, definitely want to pick him up for myself. But let's do these ones first. And of course, if you guys don't know, I'm sure at this point, I mean, if you're following the news at all, you definitely know that the four year anniversary is right around the corner. And uh, we got some pretty exciting news today. I mean, I guess not really news, but more so confirmation that the LR Super Saiyan 4 banners are dropping on July 9th, I believe, according to Team Dokener at uh, reset pretty much. So, I mean, it really depends on what time zone you live in. For some people, I think it's gonna be July 8th, like late. And for some other people, it's gonna be super, super early on uh, July 9th. But either way, it's pretty much two days after the uh, four year anniversary officially starts. So it doesn't drop immediately. Some people were asking me yesterday on the stream, actually a lot of people <laughs> were asking me, yo Tiger, do you know when exactly that four year banner drops or both four year banners drop? And I knew it wasn't like gonna be immediate. I knew that they were gonna wait a few days, which is what they usually do. So um, according to Dokener, yeah, it is gonna be two days after the celebration officially starts on July 9th. So don't get too impatient. We're still only about you know, five or six days away, so uh, we're almost there, guys. Oh my god, I can't, like, it's just something you look forward to so much, right? Like, you know it's around the corner, you know it's coming, you know it's coming, and now it's finally, like, pretty much here, and I just don't feel ready for it, man. Like, of course I'm ready, at, like, at, on the one hand, I am ready. I'm definitely ready to spend my stones. I got quite, you know, a good amount of stones right now. I still could use more, of course, and we will be getting a lot more over the course of the entire celebration. As I mentioned in a previous video, I mean, it was a super rough estimate, of course, but I think it's somewhere between like 750 to 800 stones that we will be getting for the four-year anniversary just for free for everybody. Um, but on top of that, I already have 1,100 stones. I also plan to probably buy another 1,000 stones at some point over the course of the celebration. So overall, I think I'm personally spending somewhere in the range of like 2,500 to 3,000 tickets no, not tickets. Uh, I mean, I'm summoning tickets right now, so I got confused. Uh, stones, right, over the course of the entire celebration. But of course, that also depends on just how lucky your boy gets, right? If I get really lucky on both banners, pull both LRs within like a thousand stones, which to me would be really, really lucky. Because at this point, my standard for luck is very, very low, guys. Like, if I can pull a featured unit that I want within 500 stones, I consider that an absolute win. Like, that is... <laughs> Amazing, right? So uh, if that happens, then maybe I'll spend a few less. Maybe I'll just like spend another thousand for dupes or uh, maybe try to get some of the other feature units I don't have, but um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Let me know in the comments down below, by the way, if you guys uh, are planning to whale out for the LR Super Saiyan 4s and um, how many stones you plan to spend if that's the case, because I've heard some mixed reviews, some mixed opinions. Some people are like, I'm going to spend, you know, 50 stones, do a multi, and just like call it a day. And I've heard other people say like, I'm gonna spend like a thousand dollars and buy all the stone sales and buy even more on top of that. And uh, just go all out on this celebration because I really want the LR Super Saiyan 4s. And other people are like, I'm skipping the celebration completely. Like I am straight up not going to summon because I know that there's the Trunks and Zamasu coming. I know that there's the transforming Namek Goku coming and I want those guys more. And if you're one of those people, you know, I don't necessarily recommend doing that, but I also understand where you're coming from. Like, I understand if you really want to 
you know, get your hands on the Zamasu and the Trunks and they're more exciting to you than the LR Super Saiyan 4s, then hey, more power to you, right? Like, do what, do what makes you happy, basically, right? Don't always follow or listen to what other people are doing or what they're saying. Um, just do what makes you happy, what you feel like is the best choice for you. And that's the best way to enjoy this game, right? Like, at the end of the day, when it comes to people like me, a devil man, nice. <laughs> I still think I need a few copies to SE10 him, so I'll take that. Um, but, you know, we're just here to give you guys recommendations based on our experiences with the game and what we think is maybe the best course if you want the you know, strongest teams or to benefit your account the most. But sometimes that's not the best way to play for a lot of people, right? Sometimes, like, it, it's a game at the end of the day, so if you are a huge fan of, like, Super Boo and you just really want him, hey, nice, our first SSR of the video. Uh, I think this kid, kid Goku actually has an Awakening too, so awesome. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> oh yeah, let's say you're a big fan of Super Boo. You just really, really like Boo. And um, while you know, I would have recommended a lot of people to not summon on his banner. Uh, you know, if you really, really wanted him, you just like wanted him, wanted to run him in that moment, and you couldn't wait, then go for it, right? Like, cause that's your call. Those are your stones. You play the game the way you want to, and. Uh, that's pretty much my rant for the video today. Um, by the way, going back a little bit to the four-year anniversary stuff, um, if you guys do want to do a ton of summons or maybe you want to start over, I mean, the thing with anniversaries in gacha games is that they are the best times pretty much for any gacha game to re-roll or start over. And one great option to do that is uh, through the company that I work with called Ultra Dokkan Discount, where they do these farmed accounts that have like 2,000, anywhere between 2,000 to 4,000 stones on them that they sell for super, super reasonable prices. Like, I heard that actually the 4,000 stone accounts that they just restocked uh, are going for some somewhere around like 13 USD. So for 13 USD, you can get a stacked account completely farmed with 4,000 stones. And uh, on top of that, we're running a little special promotion right now where my discount code TIGER can get you a total of 15% off. Your entire purchase so whatever price you see whether it be you know seven dollars or ten dollars or fourteen dollars take an additional 15 percent off that with your boys discount code tiger so um definitely go check that out if that's your thing of course the four year anniversary is really the best time to pick up one of these accounts but you know what totally your choice um when you guys do use my code i want to be transparent with you i do get a little bit of a kickback as well so it kind of benefits me helps pay the bills and you guys also got it, you know, get an awesome account uh, on your hands. So, like I said, kind of a win-win situation. Go check it out. Ultra Dokkan discount. Ultra Dokkan discount in my description down below. You would think that after saying that name so many times, I would get it like perfect, but apparently that's not the case. Anyways, uh, we're almost done with these tickets, guys. There's three more. Only one SSR so far, which is kind of sad, but. What can you do? It is what it is. It is what it is. Alright, we got Gohan and Chiaotzu. And I'm guessing we're not going to get any more SSRs for this video or on this banner. But you know what? We're going to get a lot of them at the end of this video when we go to that guaranteed SSR banner. So uh, hopefully I can pick up my first SDR Frieza. And if not, actually, you know what? There's one, pretty much just one unfeatured SSR that I want really, really badly. And if you guys are true fans, you guys have been watching me for a while, you know exactly what that is. I'll give you a second, just think about it for a second, alright? I'm not gonna say it yet. Think about it, if you've been watching me for at least like, I don't know, three months or so, uh, you should you should be able to think about it right now, or think of it right now. Alright, it's Weirus, alright? <laughs> I want Weirus really bad. I wanted him so bad, in fact, that I actually summoned on the Realm of Gods category banner because he was featured there and it was a guaranteed featured SSR banner, right? So I was like, yo, there's such a high chance for me to get an, like a, get the weirdest like here, right? There's only like four or five featured SSRs and it's a guaranteed featured SSR at the end of the multi. So what are the chances I won't get him? And of course I got everybody, like everybody on that banner except for him. So anyways, end of story. Um, not looking for some, like any sympathy or anything like that, but hopefully one of these seven SSRs is either an STR Final Form Frieza or a Weirus. All right, guys, here we go. Let's do our silver tickets first, and then we'll save those, you know, those gold tickets for the very, very end. All right, first guaranteed SSR, we got seven in total. 
We've only got one SSR in total on the DB Saga banner, but like I said, that's okay. I already have all of them. It's just um, looking for dupes at this point on that banner. All right, Super Saiyan 3. Awesome. And our first guaranteed is... Okay, Great Ape Fascia. Okay, you know what? I don't think she's completely duped out, so... Hopefully, I can put her to use. Hopefully. All right, next up, got the combination. Tian Chao to Yamcha. Hold down, let's go. Oh, man. You know what? I was gonna say, like, I, I feel nervous, but I don't think I'm nervous about this. I think it's the fact that I was just talking about he's rainbowed. Um, I, was, I was talking about the four year anniversary stuff, and I'm like thinking about going back to all the previous shafts I've experienced in my Dokkan career, and I'm just like getting nervous about those summons now, even like a week in advance, because the banner's not coming out in like almost a week, but I'm just, I think I'm just preparing myself mentally and physically for the shaft, man, because. I kind of feel it coming, man. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of feel it coming. All right Metal cooler. Okay. He is actually Duped out I believe so so far out of the three guaranteed no four guaranteed we got um, Most of them have been useless. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Oh Man You know it'd be cool if they put LRs on this banner. Oh, it'll be so much I mean, to be fair, I mean, it, it is guaranteed that stars, I guess, putting an LR or any LRs on this banner uh, would make it too good, but one can dream, right? <laughs> one can dream. By the way, speaking of LRs on ticket banners, uh, apparently, I, and I didn't, I didn't really think about this before, but apparently that four-year anniversary um, ticket banner that we're getting soon is going to have every single LR on it up to Tech LR Broly. Right, that's that's what I'm hearing from people right now, and I mean it just wasn't really something I thought about. Hey, he's rainbowed! Oh yeah, this guy's rainbowed now. He's rainbowed now. All right, I, like as in like he's going to be rainbowed after this dupe, which is why I'm excited because if he was already rainbowed, I'd be like, damn it. But no, that's awesome because I only needed one one more dupe for him, so uh, that's a great pull for me. Um, but as I was saying, I totally forgot what I was saying. What, what was I? What was I going on about? Like, <laughs> I get distracted so easily, guys. Holy crap. Um, whew. And I, I am just going to be kicking myself when I'm editing this video. I'm just like, I, I remember something I really want to talk about, but I just I just can't think of it right now. All right, so we're saying Blue Goku. And last but not, oh, oh, oh um, the ticket banner, the four year ticket banner. So when I was making my video, just like talking about the countdown celebration, I was like, you know, like it's gonna, it's gonna be a pretty good banner, but I never, I didn't even think about the fact there's gonna be LRs on it, right? But even if I did, I wouldn't have thought like it would include like some of the newest LRs on it, right? But if you think about um, the three year anniversary banner from last year, that actually did have all of the LRs like up to the most recent unfeatured, you know, like non Dokkan Fest LR to that point, right? So. It would totally make sense for Tech LR Broly and all other non Dokkan Fest LRs like LR Goku and Frieza, you know, LR Mighty Mask, LR Trun Trunks and Mai, um, and so on and so forth to be on that banner too. So, in addition to the pretty solid uh, featured units, it's gonna have most likely every single non Dokkan Fest LR as unfeatured, um, you know in the pool as well. So that's going to be really cool. That's going to be really awesome. Good luck to you guys. Hopefully one of you guys, or a lot of you guys actually, pull some LRs on that banner. And I really hope that happens to me too, because I have never, ever pulled an LR on a ticket banner yet. Actually, that's not true. I did get LR Vegito on the three-year anniversary ticket, but that's, that's different, right? I'm talking about like free tickets. I'm talking about like those like non-Dokkan Fest. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, those free tickets or any kind of free ticket that we got in the past, I've never pulled an LR on those banners. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the four year anniversary banner is gonna be my banner. And that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Like I said, it was super, super chill. Just a little bit of discussion um, while we had some you know, random summons going on in the background. We did manage to rainbow the physical Kyle Ken Goku, so I guess that's a win, but otherwise, nothing else too hype. But you know what, it's world ticket. Uh, or World Tournament tickets, so there's not much to be uh, expected here. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, 
and uh, possibly, possibly some more world tournament content um, on the way. I'm still thinking about it. I'm not really sure if I want to, but uh, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I want to do some more world tournament stream, even that after that eight hour stream. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. No promises, but stay tuned. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I gotta say, guys. You're freaking awesome. Have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media, signing out.